Hi everyone, it's me, Big, and welcome back to my channel. This is the second time I'm posting a video here on this channel, but I want to get used to seeing things like this. Basically, today I'm going to be sharing with you some process I I made, I record while painting this piece right here. <laughs> it's a fun art from a scene I saw on Scott Pilgrim's Takeoff at Netflix show. So yeah, I hope you can enjoy the process and we'll be seeing each other in our next videos, I think. So yeah, enjoy. I wouldn't say I have any specific step-by-step -step in terms of painting. Actually, I think I'm always trying to put brushes and colors and lines where I find them needed. In this case, Ramona's face was a bit of a challenge since I'm not used to painting this kind of anime or chibi proportions. You can see that I play a little bit with the smudge tool as a liquify one since paint tool side doesn't have a liquify tool but I think at the end I got it right. Also, a mistake I'm aware I could be repeating in my paintings and I'm doing in a part of this one is not being adding as much values as I should. That makes me end up adding shadows with some blend modes, in this case with the uh, color of the background in a shade blend mode layer, but that's a step I actually want to get rid of in my next paintings. Once I finished polishing Ramona's face, I continued with her clothes and I'm not lying if I say that I suffered with this part. Um, I wasn't sure if she was wearing a skirt or shorts, but I got it right in the end. In most of the cases where I feel like the painting is looking off, I tend to ask someone around me if something is weird looking. This time was my boyfriend, who is actually almost always around, who told me that the anatomy was not giving it so I could give Ramona's anatomy a second chance. <laughs> I think that you can uh, look by yourself the way that I'm trying to save her and I can say that I spent like about 45 minutes or a half an hour or maybe an hour, I'm not sure, but I spent a lot of time building her butt. <laughs> And the rest of the process was not that much of a stressful experience, but became a great one since I was painting something that I really wanted to paint. I've been doing commissions for about 5 or 6 years now, and of course I'm grateful for the paintings I've made, but I have gotten kind of distracted when it comes to painting because I love doing it without money involved. So yeah, I think we can consider this my Christmas present <laughs> or something. To be honest, I really enjoyed coming back to this kind of spaces where I paint for myself and not using clients or commissions as an excuse to do it.
As you may be seeing, the hands were also a difficult step in the painting since I struggled painting them. <laughs> Actually, I love painting hands because I love how soft or tough they can look depending on the way you draw them, but I would be lying to you <laughs> if I hide that I was leaving them for the end of the process since I didn't want to try two hands holding each other. But yeah, I ended up creating a reference because that's the easiest way to learn and to get through this kind of challenges. I love the way they ended up looking. I'm actually happy with the general results of the painting. This is what the process left us. Again, I'm happy to share with you this piece of me and to be able to start looking at videos as another way to do what I love doing while I maybe get to share my journey with others. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching until the end. <laughs> I promise I'll keep painting so we can get to see each other in another opportunity. So yeah, bye bye.